YouTubers, this is CJ Hot Wheels once again. It's been a while, hasn't it? I think the last time I posted a video was back in September, for the September K-Day. But I'm back again. I figured it's about time to post another video. And um, today's haul is Bee Case. I actually went to Walmart yesterday expecting nothing, because our Walmart... Is like that sometimes. I guarantee you guys have Walmarts that don't get anything either most of the time, but they actually surprised me yesterday because in the very back of the store there was a hidden dump bin full of bee case and it was untouched too. And this was great because I've never hit an untouched dump bin before. So happy as happy as can be, I looked through it and got what I wanted and I'm gonna show you what I got got the Lamborghini Urus I think that's what it's called according to race Grooves, who uh, watched the video presentation about it so so I think it's pronounced Lamborghini Urus because I called it Lamborghini Urus but it's a new casting as you can see right there and we got another new casting at the Corvette Grand Sport Roadster. This is going to be featured as a retro entertainment car next year. I saw a sneak peek of it. I think it was on tehunted.com. Got a MIG rig. Nice MIG rig. It's definitely the best one yet. I wasn't too crazy about it in the Hot Wheels racing livery. It just didn't fit the car. This fits it a whole lot better, probably because it's red, so it makes it sportier. Oh, well, these aren't B-case, but I haven't shown you these in my videos. I know you guys have seen these before. These are old news for you guys, but to me, it is. Because <laughs> I found these not too long ago, and I haven't shown them yet. But you got the Dodge Charger Daytona, which, I mean, not Dodge Charger Daytona, but Dodge Charger 500. Whoops, my bad. And then got the James Bond, the spy who loved me, Lotus Esprit S1. Right there. These are on, these these two are on international cards. Same thing with this one. Got the Datsun 620. But you guys have seen those already. But B cases are showing up in WalMarts. WalMarts are getting, I guess, their holiday dump bins. So that's probably why they got it in so early because the holidays are coming up. Got the 70 Plymouth AA Arcuda in a metallic. Uh, it's hard to tell what that color is. It's like a mix of pink or purple and blue. It has purple with blue speckles on it. It reminds me of the 67 Ford Shelby GT500 from 2009 that Hot Wheels released that was in that same color. So, this is a nice one. Got the 70 Chevy Chevelle. Isn't that nice? It, well, it's hard to see because it's such a dark color and the light bounces right off. So, but you can get an idea on the paint. Very speckled, very metallic. It's a race car livery. Very nice. Got five spoke wheels. This is the first Chevelle with the five spokes because every other one had the MC5 wheels on it, except for the Super course. And this is a nice retro Japanese car. A JDM JDM fans will love this one. The Datsun 240Z that's back after being released as a treasure hunt in 2011 in red. And I think that was the last variation. Now it's back again. Four years later. But that's okay. Got another nice car. This the The new... The very first edition was of this car was just released not too long ago. The Porsche 934 Turbo RSR in metallic black with gold lace wheels. Very nice. But we just saw the orange one, the first edition at the K-Day event, and as a matter of fact, it's still hanging over there. Yeah, this, this peg wall hasn't really changed. I put all the new cars on here over on this one. That was installed almost a year ago. Got the K&N 010 Ford Shelby GT500. Very nice. 
Got the Speed Hunters. Sorry if I'm shaky. I uh, got the Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. Haven't seen this car in a while. I think the last one I saw was the like the Easter exclusive or something like that. Got the 2013 Hot Wheels Chevy Camaro Special Edition in mustard yellow. I actually um, only saw one of these in the dump bin and it was on the very bottom. So this is the only one that they had. So I was lucky enough to find it. Hey, wait a minute. What's this? This isn't B case. Nope. This is one of the first to markets at the crappy K day from last weekend. Yes, I'm going to go out and say it. This K day was really disappointing. And it was for a lot of people. I, I think the whole country, it was disappointing because all, pretty much all the Kmarts that were doing the K days got old A cases as their K-Day cases with the only new cars being the first to markets and the Kmart exclusive recolors. Those were the only new cars that you can get. So a total of seven cars and the rest were all A case basics, which was very, very disappointing. That's why I didn't go. But the weird thing is I actually forgot there was a K-Day this weekend, but in a way I'm kind of glad that I forgot because it was such a crappy K-Day. I saw YouTube videos about it, I saw it on the Lamley blog about the case unboxing, and I was very disappointed with Kmart. Or no, no, not with Kmart, with Mattel for shipping those cases out in the first place. Because these cars that I'm showing you, we were supposed to get in our cases, but I, I know you guys know that, but still, I'm just upset about that. But, hey, there's no reason to be upset anymore, right? Walmart hooked us up. And I guarantee, and I, a couple of WalMarts are supposed to do this too. But anyway, got another first to market. Or no, no, this is a Kmart exclusive recolor, the '64 Corvette Stingray in a deep metallic green. And then this is a first to market, the '71 Buick Riviera. Oh, hang on. Here's the Jeep CJ7. And for those of you who don't know, this is going to be the regular treasure hunt of the B case. Yeah, it's a little tacky. I mean, it is a real car, though. It's not like the chicane from last month. But it's easy to remember because CJ is my nickname. So and then up here, one last car because the rest are all old cars you've already seen. Um, i got the 07 Ford Mustang. Uh, Kmart exclusive. So there you have it. So not a bad haul. No supers, by the way. This was an untouched dump-in, and I still didn't find a super. I know it was untouched. I could tell because it because of the way the cars were put in. They weren't in nice even stacks that collectors leave on the very bottom of the pegs, and also the cards were in crisp shape. They weren't. In mangled, they weren't creased, they weren't soft, they weren't anything. They were in crisp, crisp shape. So it was very easy to find mint Hot Wheels, and since I'm a cardboard collector, it was paradise. So, <laughs> but anyway, they put out four cases. Is I found four of these. I meant to, I forgot to mention, I found four of these Jeep CJ7 treasure hunts. But I only hung up one because I don't want to take up a lot of space where I could hang three other types of cars on there instead of hanging the same four. So, yeah, I mean, this weekend was a little crappy because of the K-Day, like I said. But thankfully, I went to Walmart and they hooked me up. So, this definitely made up for the K-Day. So anyway, I hope you, enjo hope you enjoyed and I hope you guys can find some B-Case cars that you want. There are a nice majority of realistic cars, even though there are still a lot of fantasy cars in this batch, but there is a good side to it, too, which you can see as I go for realism. But anyway, take care and happy collecting.